Right, the Maths Portal page. Scroll down, have a quick look. This here is our hub for everything we want the students to be able to access in relation to maths. So we've got our online curriculum pages, any links to external websites we want the students to be aware of, and anything which happens to be saved on the T drive, which we want them to be able to find nice and easily without any trouble. Now, our curriculum is slightly different from some others. So for example, in English, you might have the skill of analysing a text, and that might range from grade one all the way up to grade nine. Whereas in maths, our topics or subtopics generally have a grade assigned to them. So we've ended up with quite a few number of frog pages. Because of this, we've designed this organisation system, which I'll show you a bit more about later. But we've got our four main branches of mathematics here. And where necessary, these break down into subcategories. Let's take one of these as an example. So this topic of sequences has five frog pages assigned to it. And any of these, if we click on them, will look quite similar to start with. They just have different resources within. So we start off with an introduction page. We've then got a link to an external website and how to find the topic on that external website. We've then got video resources for the students to be able to learn from and where possible we try to make sure that we've got videos from different sources so if this explanation doesn't resonate with a student they can always try one of the other ones let's check and see how they're getting on we've got some quizzes these might be external quizzes or where possible a frog quiz and then finally GCSE exam questions and the answers to those questions so they can check and see how they're getting on. In general, these pages have ended up being rather useful, and especially so because all the pages are very similar. So once students get into the routine of using these for their own self-improvement, they normally know what they're doing. The only improvement I'd say is this front page here with quite a large amount of text. Students don't really seem to read it, even though it was designed to help them navigate and understand what they need to do in order to improve. They just seem to either ignore it or skim read it. So if redesigning, I'd probably turn this information into some sort of diagram or something a bit easier for short attention spans. Now, as I was saying earlier, these branches and sub branches, we've coded and organized to try and make life easier for students. So. When doing feedback after an exam, we do make use of these and encourage students to find things using that coding. So here, for example, we got a piece of feedback which has been completed by one of our students. And you can see here, we've got the what went well and the even better riffs, and we've got this coding. So for example, we've got A for algebra, like we had on the Maths Frog page here, A for algebra and then it tells you which subcategory and then which page to go to to find information related to that exact learning objective which they need to make an improvement at. And as you can see, this then leads to the students being able to find what they need in order to help themselves improve at particular topics. Also related to students improving from feedback, we got the if it's purple section which is just a set of instructions for students on how to use their, their end of progression charts. So it just takes them through step by step in how to find for mathematics their ratings or you know color-coded gradings for each learning objective which teachers have graded them on. And then from there, it again links to the particular pages for that learning objective, which a teacher has said they need to work on. Lastly, in light of recent events, we've just set up these maths project pages. So these are more extended projects to be doing at home. So it's been set up so you can either assign the whole page, so you could assign it so they have access to task one, two, three, 
and extension all at once over a longer period of time or we've set it up so that you can assign one task at a time so I could assign this page here and tell them just to focus on task one so we've got a repeat of all the information here which was on the introduction we've got our success criteria in our file drop here and then again we've got a link here to the particular maths page the particular learning objective which will help with this task in the maths project